What the club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. The objective of us teaching is to wake you brothers and sisters up to who you are in the Bible. You are unknown in the Bible as the Israelites that the Bible talks about. When you open up the Bible and you read in the Bible, you're reading about your forefathers and foremost. You're not reading about other people. You're reading about yourself. You're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. The greatest book that was ever put on this planet, and whose history doesn't record, you blacks and Hispanics. But you have not been taught that. So we're out here to dispense this information to you. That's what our job is. We're not out here for a show. We're not out here to sing and dance and entertain you. We're here to give you God's word. Because our people have been taught lies on the back. I can tell they jealous. Ain't nothing they can tell us. They say I'm overzealous. Hell no, you just rebellious. Put these heathens up in fetters. Remember how they did us. Oh no, I can't forget it. We gon' make their ass regret it. I've been holding on the wisdom ever since I met her. We got it, endeavor. I want this forever. Lord, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Gotta gather up together. These commitments make us better. Bread of adversity, water of affliction. Look at our conditions, had to get it out the tree. Just put them teachers on the streets We gotta build our people's spirit up Sin, I had to give it up Feel like I done did too much So I go harder for the Lord I can never do enough So I just keep doing more What the hell you waiting for? You know the rules What you say you gotta prove When we blameless we can't lose Life or death you gotta choose now Uh, John 8 and 32. Bring it up. You understand? Because we know our people got a lot of questions when it comes to God that you're not getting answers. You understand? And that's what we are here for. We are here to answer questions and show our people the truth. Show who our people, who we are, and who God is. Watch this. Read. John chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Psalms uh, 19 and 142. So what is the truth? You understand? What is the truth according to God? You understand? Because a lot of people like to say, oh, I'm living in my truth. You understand? So on and so forth. But the Bible tells us what the truth is. Watch this. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. So it's the laws of God that is the truth. That's you understand? Enough. There is no other truth on earth but the laws of God. That's right. You understand? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. You understand? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. You understand? Because we got to understand who we are before we begin to make any changes. You understand? Within our communities. You understand? Our people dying every day. You understand? Our people strung out on drugs. You understand? Why is this going on? You know what I'm saying? Why we keep going through the same thing over and over again? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if you don't know, the so-called black man in America is the real Jew. Bring it you up. understand? We are Israelites, God-chosen people. You understand? And the reason we at the bottom of society is because we breaking God's laws. Right. You understand? The reason we suffering these curses, the reason we in poverty in the damn slums, is because we refuse to keep the laws of God. You understand? Watch this. Read verse 15. Verse 15. But if that, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do in all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says that if we don't keep the commandments of God, we're going to be cursed as a people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now let's go through some of these curses. You understand that God said it's going to be on his people and his people only. Give me verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. So it don't matter where you go. We in Cape, Sykeston, Charleston, wherever. St. Louis. You understand? We cursed as a people. Right. You understand? Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So we cursed in the city, cursed 
in the field on a plantation. You understand? That's where we was at. You understand? Watch this. Read. Keep on reading. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. We don't own nothing. You understand? Anytime a black man owns something, it just it falls apart after some time. Bring it out. You understand? Anytime we own something, we don't never have it that long. Right. You understand why? Because God said, curse don't be our basket and our store. Why for breaking his commandments? You understand? God said his righteousness is everlasting. You understand? Read uh, verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You understand? So this is what we read in the Bible. The Bible talking about slavery. You understand? And we the only people here that can identify with slavery. You understand? Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So give me verse uh, 45. Go to verse 45 real quick. You understand? Because we don't find out today who the children of God is and what we God requires us. You understand? Watch this. Read. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee Read. till thou be destroyed. God said these curses going to be on his people until we destroy. When you look at the black man and the black woman today, we destroyed as a people. You understand? Our young daughters get pregnant at 15, 16. You understand? Our, all our young men locked up. Why? Because we destroyed our minds destroyed. Bring you understand? Out. These women ain't even raising their kids. You understand? Why? Because we destroyed as a people. Watch me. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments. You know, you know what? You know what's to destroy my when a woman blamed the man for not raising her kids. Bring it up. You understand? The woman always shifting the blame on the damn man when it comes to how her kids turn out or when it comes to her kids. You understand? Our women don't take no responsibility, no accountability, and the young men ain't out here taking care of their responsibilities. Right. You understand? Our people destroy. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. And, then, and you're going to see as we continue to read the Bible, that's all you're going to hear. It's the commandments of God. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? For a sign. So the Bible says we gonna, are these curses going to be on our people for a sign. Read that part again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So a sign identifies something. We can you help. understand? A sign identifies something. So these curses is what's going to identify the children of God in these right. last days. Right? Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Uh -huh. And for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Right. So the Bible say, God said we're going to serve our enemies for breaking this law. Bring it out. You understand? That's why we don't own nothing. Right. You understand? We work for our oppressors. We working for the white man. We working for the Arabs, the Chinese man, so on and so forth. Right. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. Read out. In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst Read. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. So who put these yokes of iron on our necks? You understand? Who, who did that? Bring it out. God said it's going to be your enemy to do that. That put these yokes of iron on your necks. Right? right? Read that again. Read that verse again. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger Read. and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Give me verse 65. You understand? So God said all these curses going to come on his people for not keeping the commandments. And that's what we refuse to do. We keep finding, we keep trying to find solutions, you understand, to all our problems through everything else but God. You understand? When it comes to changing something or when it comes to doing something, you understand, within you, we refuse to do it. You understand? Watch this. Read. Verse 65. And among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. Uh -huh. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Read. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, uh -huh. and failing of eyes, Read. and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Uh -huh. And thou shalt fear day and night, Read. and shalt have none assurance of thy life. Read. In the morning shalt thou say, Would God 
Give me verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. So give me uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. What's up, Bob? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. You understand? So the Bible just said he's going to send us to Egypt. God said he's going to send his people into Egypt again with ships. So let's see what that's talking about. You understand? Watch this. Read it. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Read it again. I <laughs> am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Read it again. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Hey, bro. Over there at the uh, over at the liquor store, man. Come over here and holler at us real quick. Come holler at us real quick, man. Let us show you something. Give me verse 68. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Three. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So Egypt is synonymous for bondage or slavery. Bring it out. God said his people will go into slavery with ships. Three. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Read. thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right, so God said, we're going to go into slavery on ships, and when we get off them ships, we're going to be sold to our enemies. Bring it out. You understand? So, it was, so when we get off those ships, we're going to be sold, we're going to be, we're going to be sold to our enemies. You understand that? Ain't nobody gonna save us out there bondage. Right. You understand? Ain't nobody gonna come redeem us. Ain't nobody gonna buy us out there slavery. That's what the Bible just said. You understand? Like, give me Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter what's that, uh, 4 and 17. Matthew chapter 4 and 17. Give me that, yeah. Matthew chapter 4 and 17. So what's the whole point of us being out here? We trying to get our people to repeat. The same thing Christ did. The same message Christ was teaching. Read. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 uh -huh. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand uh -huh. And Jesus Right so he said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand That's right. We in these last days Our people need to wake the hell up and start keeping the laws of Bring God We used to scream black power While Haram was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth